in Venezuela, the inflation rate there is 42 percent, which is the highest in Latin America. Some blame government price controls, which they say production cuts have sent prices soaring. But the government says these controls are necessary to cut poverty. Martin Markovitz has more. Here at a low-income market in the Caracas barrio of Petari, customers are astonished by the rising prices. We're reaching a limit. Everything is too expensive. Here's the opportunity to buy something cheaper, but everything is very expensive. You have to make miracles to buy vegetables and fruit. This week's announcement by Venezuela's central bank that annual inflation reached 42 percent, more than double from last year, continued Venezuela's standing as having the highest inflation rate in the Americas. This, along with frequent shortages of basic products like toilet paper and cooking oil, have made shopping difficult here. Many goods are not available, are too expensive and not available, so life is too expensive and it's difficult to get goods. Economists point out the government's recent devaluation of its currency and the tight control that they have on the economy as a reason for the high inflation. They also say that price controls that were introduced to help the poor purchase products have actually backfired and have made it harder for them to buy food. Economist Susan Chama said government controls have crippled production and driven up prices. Apart from oil, Venezuela imports most of its goods. Controlando todo. Controlling everything, controls in the economy, it's been badly managed. That's the big problem. There's no good administration. But despite the record inflation, the government's use of its oil wealth to pay for social programs have paid off, as both extreme poverty and infant mortality levels have been cut in half. Yet many wonder how much longer the government can afford to keep being generous with state money as production keeps falling. Marta Markovitz, CCTV, Caracas.